Who money though? Hey! Raindrop, drip, drop top, drop top, smoking on cooking, you with tissue. It's bad and bullshit, bad. Cooking up dope with a oozy. My niggas are savage, ruthless. We got thudders and hundred rounds too. My bitch. Hey, Glammies, and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm finally filming my foundation routine because I've been promising you guys that video for like too long to freaking count. I've been saying I'm gonna do my foundation routine, full coverage, drugstore one for like, I don't know, several videos. But I'm here today, so don't hate me, just love me because I'm doing it now. So this is gonna be all drugstore products or affordable products because some products like ColourPop, my bae, they're cheap, okay? They're cheaper than some drugstore brands, but you have to get them online, so there's that. So let's just jump into the tutorial. First, I'm gonna prep my skin with Wet n Wild's primer. I gotta make you see this. So the first step in my full face um, drugstore foundation routine is using my LA Girl Pro Concealer to color correct. And this concealer is the orange corrector, and I'm just gonna put this all over my hyperpigmentation, on my little mustache that's starting to grow, and under my eyes, because I did not sleep last night. So my forehead is a darker color than the rest of my face, so I always go with heavy ham-ish with my forehead, and lighter with the rest. And then I just pinpoint different spots like around my mouth that have hyperpigmentation okay so that's it you guys might think that i kind of went ham because maybe in this lighting you can't see how much hyperpigmentation i have but i have a lot because i have a really problem skin so yeah i have super acne prone skin my skin has been clear for a couple days now and it's breaking out already and it has nothing to do with my skincare routines it's all hormones unfortunately so i'm gonna take a blending brush and I'm going to spray some rose water on it and then I'm just gonna blend this out okay so after I have this blended out and I'm looking like a pink salmon Disaster, I'm going to take my Black Radiance foundation in Brownie, which is my Rider Die foundation. I need to buy another one. It's only $4. So I could actually stock up on these if I wanted to. And I'm just going to take the spatula and put the foundation all over my face. Oh, and I'm going to get it in my hair, of course. I'm just gonna go in with the same brush and blend this all out. And then I'm gonna go back and add foundation to any places where I feel like not enough, there's not enough coverage. Which is always gonna be my forehead for me because my forehead is just so much darker than the rest of my face. It always kinda looks streaky when I apply foundation I feel like in the center of my forehead like it just takes foundation away like do you guys see that I don't get it so on camera this foundation looks super orange but in perfect in person it matches perfectly I don't know why it looks orange on camera so for highlighting and contouring I'm going to use my favorite concealers LA girl pro concealers they're so cheap and they work amazing for me so i'm gonna go on with the shade beautiful bronze and highlight underneath my eyes my smile lines my mustache so it doesn't look dark and crazy and i'm gonna bring it up against the side of my nose which will help when I'm contouring on my chin and a little bit on my forehead just a little bit 
and then down the center of my nose, the bridge. And what I'm gonna take to blend this out is my per precision foundation brush that I recently got in an Ipsy bag. Where is it, where is it? I'm taking this bad boy, which is a Luxie 666 precision foundation brush, and I'm going to blend this out. Spray it with some rose water and then get to blending. So I'm gonna start with my chin and then my forehead and then underneath my eyes for last. And I just love how this gives like an airbrushed look. So now I'm going to take the darkest color shade foundation that they have, which is mahogany, and I'm going to use that to contour. And there's a very cool toned shade, like this shade is super dark, I'm going to show you guys. You see that? Look how dark that is. And sometimes you should squeeze the um, concealer on the back of your hand because they have a tendency to get watery if you don't use them very often. And I don't use this one that often because sometimes it gives me too much of a grayish contour and I don't really like that. So I'm just gonna put it at the side of my forehead and then carve out them jowls. And then very lightly down my nose because this color is very dark whoops I say very lightly and then I go ham good job Shannon and then I'm just gonna feather it on my jawline you know so I look like I haven't eaten in weeks which I kind of haven't because my calf has been seriously slacking and I'm starving if you want to come feed me me let me know so I'm gonna take my foundation brush and just blend this all out and for my contour I go in upward motions so that it doesn't look too dirty cakey and muddy like especially since this color is so dark And then I'm gonna take the sides of the foreheads now and blend it into my hairline. And with whatever excess from the sides of my forehead, I just bring it to the top. And then for my nose contour, I like to take a smaller brush and just lightly blend it in. And for my nose contour, I would you definitely use a lighter color. I don't know why I use this color. I was feeling crazy. But now I'm gonna take my Sasha Buttercup setting powder. I could not find the front of this thing. <laughs> and I'm just gonna set underneath my eyes. And I'm not gonna do this for very long because I have very dry skin, as you guys may know. And if I leave it too long, I'll be left looking like a crocodilian. <laughs> And I don't want to look like a crocodilian. Okay, so now I'm going to blend out 
my nose and right there and I'm just gonna go back in with you know the buffing brush and drag it down and I'm just gonna put some setting powder underneath the bridge of my nose I slightly missed but you know that don't matter and then all the parts that were slightly baking but I didn't put that much product because of my skin like I told you guys I'm just gonna dust that off So if you have dry skin, this is definitely the method that you want to use instead of full on baking for so long like all of these other YouTubes tell you to. A lot of them have dry skin or a lot of them have oily skin or they have dry skin and they just want to bake and sometimes it honestly just doesn't look the best but they do it anyways. But I want you guys to look your best just like I want to look my best. So for to set my contour now. I'm gonna go with my Black Radiance True Complexion Palette, medium to deep, and use my favorite color, which I'm hitting pan on, which is the contour color, and I'm just gonna take this fluffy brush. And contour. And this will also warm up the gray tone contour that I just did. See, it makes it more human, which is why I love this product. So now I'm just gonna dust off underneath my contour and my nose. And now I'm just gonna put on my brows, put on some lashes, and come back and finish up the face with you guys. Okay, and then I'm just gonna set my face and then apply my highlight. And the highlight that I'm going to be using is also from the Ruby Kisses palette. I don't really like this highlight all too much, but I don't really own drugstore highlighters. Like, highlighters are the one thing I'll spend money on because I love them. So I'm just going to add that to my cheekbones. Cupid's bow. <laughs> above my brow bone so I'm gonna go back to my bay a color pop color and this is embellish it's like a black and brown I love it so much so there you have it guys that's my full face drugstore foundation routine there's nothing else to say flawless or not nah. I love this look it's super easy super quick you can do it in half the time that I was telling you guys how to do it I was just going slow so that you guys can see how to actually complete this but in all actuality I'd be beating my face I'd be like ah, especially if I'm doing my makeup before class so this is really easy simple for beginners I hope you guys enjoyed this make sure you like comment and subscribe Tell me what you guys want to see next now that I've fulfilled you guys' wishes. And I'll see you later, Glammy. Stay beautiful and blessed.